every one of us here is asking day to day in our work, but what increasingly governments are asking, public servants and uh, elected officials, is how to ensure we are having the maximum impact and the maximum positive uh, result uh, with those funds. And how do we ensure that rigorously we are assessing the impact of our work, uh, funding the things that are having the most impact on the things that we care about, uh, and ensuring that we stop doing things that aren't having the kind of impact uh, that we want to have. So as we talk about behavioral insights and as we talk about you know, our work at the Impact and Innovation Unit and the Privy Council Office and the federal government and as uh, my provincial colleagues around here talk about their work, uh, it isn't abstract. Uh, it isn't theoretical, uh, although we try and ensure that we have rigorous theoretical foundations to what we're doing. Uh, day to day, it is about ensuring that the program dollars we spend are having the kind of impact we want. And what is uh, um, very uh, validating um, for me and for my colleagues uh, is that increasingly that culture uh, is embedding itself across the federal government within the public service but also uh, within elected officials. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I rejoined the Federal Public Service two years ago, and my colleagues are around the table and executives in the Federal Public Service regularly come to me and say, you probably don't appreciate what a big culture change has occurred over the last uh, short number of years. But ministers and elected officials more regularly and rigorously are asking when policy proposals come in front of them, when program delivery uh, design models come in front of them, elected officials are more uh, consistently asking, um, have we tested this? Uh, have we prototyped it? How are we going to assess whether it's working? Not five years from now when the program comes up for renewal, but how are we going to assess whether it's working uh, after a month, after six months? Do we have a rigorous design? They, I've had people come up to me. I'm really surprised. A minister asked me about A-B designs and whether we have control groups uh, for this new program. Um, so those kinds of questions, which are inherent uh, to the work that we all do or uh, engage with, uh, are increasingly embedding themselves in the culture of the federal government um, and I think within uh, provincial governments as well. Uh, what we are trying to do is help install, a, a, instill a discipline around clarity, around goals and objectives. For those of us who've worked in the, f in, in the public service, we all know that regularly and consistently you launch a program and you have ideas and you've started a policy and you have goals and those are uh, the most worthwhile and laudable goals. But in the policy process, in the program delivery process, day to day become captured with the activities and the processes and the meetings. And what we're trying to do is instill uh, a discipline and a rigor uh, around uh, being very clear about what result we're trying to achieve, what goal we're trying to achieve uh, for the public, for citizens, um, and ensuring that we have ways of assessing whether we're achieving that result. Now, this is a long-term process. Uh, it isn't going to change overnight. But that discipline of experimentation, uh, uh, in my view, is really starting to take hold. And we're just at the beginning of that journey uh, in, the, uh, in the federal government. You can see it uh, in a shared commitment amongst federal, provincial, uh, territorial leadership as well. Uh, for those people who don't follow government closely, um, the clerks and cabinet sec secretaries, the uh, highest uh, public servants in federal and provincial governments uh, released a statement uh, just a few months ago uh, that was what we would call a positive policy statement, trying to give license uh, to public servants to experiment and to innovate, trying to, uh, you know, shake a culture which is risk averse, uh, which uh, for a lot of good reasons uh, is scared to experiment, scared that if something doesn't work out they will be criticized. Um, but from the highest levels, both elected, Prime Minister in our case, but clerks and cabinet secretaries at federal, provincial and territorial governments are all trying with their own words and their own deeds to shift the culture. And again, this is a long-term process, um, but to give public servants license to experiment in rigorous ways. Um, uh, 
One of the things that we're doing in the federal government is we've created the Impact Canada Initiative through uh, the I Impact and Innovation Unit, which is the co-host uh, of, uh, of this conference. Uh, with the Impact and Innovation Unit, we are trying to build structures and processes that allow departments and ministers to partner with outside organizations, whether that's the private sector, not-for-profit foundations, impact investors of various kinds, um, to partner more easily, um, to experiment with outcome-based funding uh, mechanisms. In the federal government, we have very few tools to have impact. Our, our tools are grants and contributions, um, narrowly defined uh, with very uh, similar structures but challenges, social impact bonds, outcome-based funding uh, mechanisms, pay-for-performance models, all of these are ones that allow more nimble procurement, uh, allow more rigorous experiment, uh, allow us to bring in diversity and ideas from outside and to partner more easily. All of these things are crucial to shaking up some of the standard traditional delivery models and some of those are good, and some of those will turn out to be the best ones, and we may have lucked into the fact that some of the things we do are uh, the best, are, are structured in a way that are having the most positive impact. But what we are committed in the federal government through the creation of Impact Canada Initiative is to find ways of partnering with other governments, with foundations, with impact investors, with Canadians, uh, and exploring ways um, to have uh, greater impact uh, in a more nimble, uh, in a more flexible, in a quicker way.